Hey guys, we just arrived. We just done uh, packed everything. We're gonna get the tent set up. It's really warm today, as you can see. Shorts and t shirt. Shorts and t shirt. It's around 16 Celsius. Not sure that is in Fahrenheit, but yeah, nice day. Hopefully, it'll be a lot nicer than last time. Alright, guys, we just cleared our area. Uh, this is a good area for a tent, so yeah, we're gonna use it again. Just got my tent here. It's, uh, you know, just a normal pop up tent. It's three person, but with all our gear, um, it's pretty much only good for two. So, yeah, it's a very easy tent to set up and put down. It takes like five minutes. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Right here, this is just your rain cover. Protect from rain. I don't think we're going to be needing that. And then right here, if I can get it out, is like the main part of the tent. Alrighty. So, what I want to do is just put her down here. Like so. I'm going to want to find the area. Have it. And it just flips out, and yeah, it's fairly easy. And yeah. okay. sometimes it does get a little tough, though. Alrighty, guys, we got the tent all set up. Dryden's in there right now, just unpacking sleeping bags and stuff. Probably gonna leave the rain fly off because uh, it's not gonna rain. Let's hope not, at least. Yep, it's uh, actually getting quite warm, so we both stripped down to our tees. All right, I'll see you later. Hey Alrighty, guys. guys, so today my friend Dryan's gonna light the fire. We have dryer lint. The reason why we use this today is one, because we had a lot of it, and two, everyone has dryer lint, right? Uh, it's just the uh, extra fabric that comes off your clothes. So, yeah, so he's gonna show us how to do it. Get it going there. Alrighty. Yep. And now you're just gonna wanna put the small tinder on and then the bigger stuff just like so wanna just like put her all on and boy is that ever hot so now let's get that stuff on yeah as you can see the dryer lint it works amazing it's just pretty much cotton and other fabrics two strikes yeah took him two strikes actually the first strike I'm pretty sure he had it but just struck it. Make sure. And as you can see right there, she's rip roaring. And yeah, let's hope we the get this far. The thing about dryer is it's hot. It burns hot. Good. And let's say you were surviving. Another thing you could do is you could get the belly button lint out of your belly button. Or if you have socks like these, you can just pull off that lint and wool so yeah alrighty guys so right now we're making some ramen for lunch there's also a bit of rice we already put a bit of rice in there a little bit earlier so it could start cooking so as you can see there it's just kind of like a brick and um, yeah what we have to do is we have to break apart that brick oh and also they usually come with a package of flavoring so as you can see here, if that will focus, that is beef flavoring. All right. So he's just gonna stir that in there. Uh, this stuff you can get usually at like the dollar store for like 33 cents. So put the flavoring. This flavoring is actually really strong. Right there. Get the rest. All right. Alrighty, yep, just stirring it up right there. Now we already put the rice in because rice takes longer to cook. So we've been cooking the rice for like 15 minutes. So, yep, he's just stirring it. Alright guys, our soup just came off. As you can see here, we got our noodles. Dryan's just enjoying them now. I just took a piss. 
Oh my goodness. Hey guys, we're just uh, finishing up our soup and we're gonna make some hot dogs. My brother just uh, came and kind of crashed the party, so yeah, he was uh, saying some weird stuff. It's kind of camera shy, but yep. Tastes really good though. And we got some extras, so everything's good. What we have are we have these uh, Costco hot dogs, so they are humongous. Jumbo dogs. Yeah, we only have two of them, but we had to cut them in four, and they are humongous. So, yeah. Kirkland. I think they're like foot long or something, but. Fork. Oh wow, look at those things. Those are nice. Okay. We get two each. Want me to just put them in your bowl, these? Yep. Alrighty. What we should have done is we should have made the hot dogs first and then we could use the water for the soup, but you know, we can. Alright, here they are. Oh, I'll go. Hey guys, right now I'm just setting up my hammock right here, as you can see, laid it out. I picked two trees right here. So when you're hanging up a hammock, it's actually quite difficult. Because you think, oh, those trees are too far apart. But they're actually not. You want a nice distance. So with the kit that I got, it comes with two ropes just like this, really strong. And pretty much what you do is you just put it around the tree and put it in there and tighten it. So here, I'll show you. And put it around here. Around here and then put that through there like so and then you want to pull right. you're gonna to want to play around with this a little you know wiggle it and stuff like that oh no really pull so I already have that side set up then they have some really strong heavy carabiners uh, what you're gonna to want to do with that is first find which way is up and which way is down things like that and then you just want to clip it like there and then clip it like so now as you can see my trees are a bit too close so luckily I have another tree right over there where I'm gonna hang it up once I have it all hanged up I'm gonna come back and show you alrighty guys there we go now after playing with it and adjusting it a bit it um you know you can get it that way so as you can see, right up there I have it, and right up there. So now, let's see if I can get in it. Now, as you see, it is a little high, but after a while, it will kind of get to a normal fitting. So usually when I go in, I like to take my shoes off. So at first, it's really difficult, and you're not too sure if it can hold, but you just kind of want to sit in, like so, and then flip your feet up, and there you go. You're all good. Oh, this is nice. Now, with this one, it's just a hammock. You don't have any roof or a bug net that comes with it. But uh, yeah, it's really nice just to relax. If you want, you can actually just sit down like so. All right, you can have a couple guys here. So this is uh, this hammock is good for about 300 pounds. So that's good. I weigh about like 130, 140. So this is definitely good enough to hold me. And uh, yeah, my friend only weighs about 80 pounds, so yeah, it's nice. All right, see ya. Hey guys, tonight for supper we are going to be having potatoes and hamburgers with uh, some butter. And we're just going to cook it up all over the fire and the potatoes we're going to cook them in tin foil.
Yep, right there, that's our hamburgers. We have two. Um, we don't have any buns or condiments. We're just gonna, you know, eat them like a patty, I guess. But, um, yeah. Alright, now let's get the potatoes ready. Alrighty, guys. Right now, John's just cutting up some potatoes for us. So we have some tin foil and um, some butter. And we're gonna let that go in the fire. And yeah, hopefully it'll be very good. We'll get you back once you put them on. Alrighty guys, right now Dry Dee Dee's just uh, cutting up the potatoes and I'm just gonna be applying some butter on it. This is that this is actually just margarine. Yep. Get a nice sure some out. Here. Wanna get something? Actually, you know what? You don't have to put butter on all the pieces. Right, just yeah. Throw just to put it in and get it on. Should be in yeah, one of those bags in there. I probably shouldn't be using this knife, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, he's in Fred. If you hear something in the background, we just have some music playing, so that's all. Yeah, spread that seasoning on. So this is just chicken seasoning, but we always have it with us, and uh, yeah, so it's gonna give it a nice flavor. I find that uh, Montreal chicken seasoning goes good with like almost everything. So yeah. Now look how good that looks. Mm, mm mm Yeah, look at that. So we just got some butter and the chicken seasoning, and yeah, it just looks so delicious. Alrighty, guys. So Dryden just put on the uh, potatoes, and we just flipped the burgers. The burgers smell and look very delicious. And yeah, same with the potatoes. All right, we'll get back to you once we're done. Okay, I'm ready. Hey guys, look, I just shot this, and like, look at that, look how thick that is. Usually they're hollow, but that is pure glass right there. It's pretty cool. And if you're wondering about, oh, gun rules and stuff, since this is on our property, we are allowed to shoot. We're also allowed to shoot rodents, since it is on our property, but we're not going to do that, because we're nice people. We're just having fun with some pop cans and glass. Oh yeah, and if you guys are wondering, yes, we are wearing safety protection. We believe that safety is number one. Yeah. Alright guys, Dryden just took the burgers off. So we just um, set them in here just to cool a bit. Look how nice they are. Yeah, they might be a little burnt, but they usually all are nice and juicy. And oh, they smell so good. All right there, those are the potatoes. Hmm, let's see if we finally cooked them right. We don't know because, oh, there's so much steam coming off. Hot. What do you think? Mm hmm Hmm. They could go on a bit longer, but I think they're good. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Dry and I are just drinking some of our beverages. 
And yeah, we're just uh, warming up around the fire. It's almost night time, so we'll be packing her up pretty soon, but just talking around the fire and enjoying ourselves. All right, guys, we just heard something, so I got the gun ready. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere out there. I'll keep you posted if we find anything. Alrighty guys, Dryden just made us a delicious treat. This is Bannock with chocolate chips in it. So Bannock is like a First Nations um, bread. It's pretty much um, flour, baking soda, and uh, salt. So I'm going to take a bite. Oh, that chocolate really helps out. Mm -hmm. So um, right now it's 9.30. As you can see, it's totally dark. I have my headlight, headlamp on, and we have the fire going. We figured out what those animals were. They're little field mice. So, Jordan and I finally manned up. We went to go see what they were, and I saw little field mice just scurry across. So, that's not much. We're not scared anymore. See, so, yep, there's our fire. There's the delicious bannock Jordan made. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, it's about 10 o'clock. We're just watching a movie on our little DVD player. You know, we just have some little sparkling drinks. Yeah, it's all great. It's nice and warm out. It's about 9 Celsius. I got my little inflatable thing here. So it's going to be a good night. The drink. We got good drinks. We're watching a funny movie. I'm off. So, yeah. <laughs> hey guys. It's uh, around 11 o'clock, and um, we're going to bed. Dryden, he's uh, he's already asleep there. But yeah, it's uh, skin late. It's a lot warmer than last time. Um, yeah, I'm just really tired. <sighs> yeah. As you can see, it's just our tent set up. Not much. I'm just tired. See you in the morning. Hey, good morning, guys. It's about five in the morning. I just woke up. I'm not going back. And Dryden's asleep. Hey, guys. It's six o'clock. It's uh, somewhat dark, but the sun's rising. I'm just trying to get her fire started back up. She's smoking, but there's no flame. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Finally got it going.
Hey guys, I just got in from stoking the fire. And uh, now I'm just sitting here, I can hear tons of birds. It's really nice out. It's getting a lot brighter. Dryden's still asleep. Dryden can sleep and sleep. Sadly, I can't. Actually, um, my blow up air mattress thing, pool toy, it deflated. So, right when I hip hit the ground, I woke up because that hurts. So, yeah, I'll catch you later. That right there is a woodpecker. Hey guys, um, it's breakfast, it's about 7.30. Uh, today we're gonna make some bannock, and also we have some eggs that we're gonna hard boil. And we also have some instant coffee room. So the instant coffees, you know, just to wake us up and stuff. So yeah. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my bannock. So this is, I pre-mix this at home. It's, uh, I forget what the measurements is, but you have flour, baking soda, and some salt. I also added some chocolate chips in here, and we have more in here for extras. So the first thing you're going to do is just pour yourself a nice amount. So, see here. Alrighty. And don't forget this will rise also. Alrighty. So you see that? So I'm just gonna add a bit more chocolate chips. Get the chocolate content higher. And then I need a stir stick for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove the mark bark to make it sterile. So then yeah, because when you remove the bark it makes it sterile. If you don't remove it, then there could be bacteria trapped on there, and we don't want that. Alrighty, so we have our stick now. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to add water. So right here we have this nice big jug of water. And this is the tricky part to see how much water you need. So for this I like to just start out with a little. Just a little and then stir it in. And then after a while you're just gonna wanna add more water, stir it in. And yeah, so I'll get to you guys once I'm done. All right guys, so now we have our eggs. We're just gonna put the eggs in here, and then we're gonna leave them in this hot water for three minutes to hard boil them. And there we go. minutes and counting. Hey guys, so for breakfast we have some bannock. It is a little burnt but I can just cut that away. And then also we have some eggs. So we just hard boiled the eggs, uh, nothing special. And to drink we have some French vanilla coffee which is actually very good. Hey guys, it's Dryden here. Andrew and I right now, we're just working on making an island right here. We've been getting uh, gravel and stuff out of the creek and we've just been adding it to the island. Andrew is down here collecting some clay right now actually and we're making bowls and balls out of it. I'll give you guys a quick view. Yeah, so where we are right now, there's tons of clay and um, I just found a nice patch. So right here, I just have a nice amount of clay and this is like the clay you'd find at a studio, right? You can just sculpt it and into anything. And so far we made a bowl and a ball and we put it in the fire. So we'll get back to you guys later. Hey guys, here is our bowl and ball that we made. Hey guys, so we decided we have so much clay we should make a furnace here for the winter. So right here what I'm doing 
is I'm just gonna, oh, that's clay. And I'm just gonna lay it here and flatten it out. And then after we have that done, we can put some embers on to, you know, harden it a bit. And then we're just gonna wanna make a backdrop for now. And then after that backdrop dries, maybe some other day this summer, I could come out and maybe put a tube up or something, but yeah. Keep you posted. All right guys, as you can see right here, uh, we're nearing completion. So pretty much what this is, is we're just gonna put coals here and then we're gonna have the grill on there. So yeah, it's gonna, it's also gonna be good. The reason why I put it here is also for the winter. Um, we might make a little place where we can slide a piece of sheet metal in and that will reflect it into our shelter. Also, I'm gonna get clay and just put some here just so that it doesn't burn it. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so right now we are just put some coals on it. So right now we're just hoping to dry it out. Also, as you can see there, on that piece of wood I put clay, that's to keep the fire off it. And yeah, and over here, we just have the normal fire. So we're hoping to actually use this today. We're hoping to cook some chicken on it. So yeah. Hey guys, so. Um, we just put a hot dog on. It's not finished drying out yet, but we think it should be fine. So, yeah, the hot dog's cooking over the, uh, hot coal, so we should get it really nice. Also, over here we're getting the chicken ready. So right in this bag here, we have the raw chicken. We put some seasoning on. Alrighty, when it's on the grill, you'll come back. Hey guys, so right now, Dryden's just rubbing on the Montreal chicken spice. So yeah, as you can see there, he's with tender, loving care, just rubbing it on. Yeah. Hey Andrew, what are you smoking? Uh, just my socks. I uh, fell in the water. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Hey guys, right now I'm just cutting up some potatoes for lunch. Over there on our new stove, Dryden just put down some chicken. Boy, does that ever look good. A good thing about our stove is that it actually uh, smokes it too. And it uses coal, so oh man, the last hot dog we had was so good. I'm really looking forward to this for our last meal of the day. Hey guys, so I just got the potatoes ready. Just gonna put them in the coals here. All right, now we're gonna wait about 30 minutes. Alrighty guys, right here is our chicken, and right here is our potatoes. Ooh, they're nice and steamy. There you go. Hey guys, just for a farewell, we're making a little beach fire. Hey guys, Dredden and I put some clay in the fire there, like little clay discs. You can see, and we 
are making them so we can shoot them later. Hey guys, we're just packing up here. Got all our stuff laid out. The fire's out, we're just letting it cool off. So yep, we're packing up and going home. It was one fun adventure. Alrighty guys, as you can see, our tent's down. The fire's completely out, we dug it out. Our uh, little new clay stove, it's all um, deal, deal with. Everything's packed up and yeah, we're just Saying our goodbyes and stuff, and yeah. Alrighty, guys. All right, so, guys, we'll see you later. See you next time.